friends welcome back to my channel so it's a little late to be starting a vlog today I think I started at lunchtime which means at about 12 o'clock I started making my lunch before then I was doing dishes in the kitchen I kind of came home from taking rainy to work and I took a nap because I really needed it I had the worst migraine over the weekend and it lasted like both days and I know it's because the magazine <laughs> fell on the floor but anyways I know my headache was because of some stress in my shoulder muscle and um, luckily I've been working that out a little bit and I've been massaging it and putting stuff on it to help it kind of loosen up some and I've been doing exercises so <clears throat> and now my cats are distracting me but yeah I had just the worst headache I didn't get a lot of sleep um and then Shabbat we did go to fellowship and that kind of took a lot of energy out of me because it's always um it's restful but being around the people is kind of energy draining for me because I'm an introvert and so yeah so we did that and I still had a little bit of a headache Saturday night but then Sunday morning it came back in like full force so all of Sunday um I got some of the dishes done and then I made chicken in the crock pot so that was an easy day of cooking and me and Rainy kind of just watched Little House on the Prairie all day. We had like a Little House marathon all day. So when I woke up this morning there was a lot of dishes and the kitchen just needed a little bit of straightening up and yeah so I did. I woke up about 10, got the dishes done, and got my lunch ready, which you've seen at the beginning of this vlog, and I was planning on filming a Dollar Tree haul, and then filming this vlog, and like doing a little bit of a talk with y'all, but plans change, and Rainy's getting off early, and I have to go to Kohl's to return something I bought off of Amazon. I know that sounds funny probably to some people, but some Kohl's let you return, um, let you do the Amazon returns, and there's not a lot of UPS stores around where we live. So I got to go to Kohl's, and then I've got to go pick him up, and then when I come home, hopefully I'll have time to do the Dollar Tree haul. And I think I'm going to do it separate than my vlog, but we'll see how that goes. And so yeah, that is the plan. And hopefully I get to have that little talk that I want to have after I get back home while Rainy is doing his own thing. So let's see how it goes today. And this is where y'all can tell what my favorite color is. I'm totally decked in blue today. I got like my blue glasses. I have blue <laughs> nail polish, my blue shirt, and my blue head covering. So do y'all think that I like blue or what? <laughs> I've got happy mail. I'm super excited because Oh, there's a rip in my box, I just realized. I hope that it didn't make anything get broken. But I got my Happy Mail from By the Well for God. It is a shop, and I will link it below. But now I get to do a review on one of their devotional kits. And I have some others of theirs, and I really love them. They are devotional kits for Bible journaling. So yeah, I get to open this. I'm excited. Luckily, they packaged this like really well. So nothing in the box was harmed. This is like a sneaky peek of what I got. So, and look at that. My nails match the packaging. <laughs> That's kind of like the little bow they put on. But this is a little sneaky peek. And I'm probably going to do an unboxing of this on a separate video so probably after you watch this one or maybe you already watched this but I'm gonna do this separate so this is like a little sneaky peek <laughs> Here 
Hey friends, so it is the next day. I went to get Rainy and then we actually went to Kohl's because I needed to return that belt and then we picked out a few things that Rainy needed. He needed a couple new shirts and he got himself some slip-on shoes because the only shoes he has right now are boots, two pairs of boots. So he got a pair of slip-on shoes that he can wear inside and outside. And yeah, so that's what we did. And then we came home and I filmed the video that you're going to see before this vlog goes up. Um, the By the Well for God. I opened my package up and I still have to do review of the planner that I got also. And I'm hoping to do that this evening. And I'm also hoping to give y'all... Um, a look at what I got at Dollar Tree last week. I still haven't unpacked all that stuff. Most of it is for organizing my art studio and my um, my rolling cart that I just got. So yeah, right now I am at the laundromat and um, just waiting for laundry to be done. It is about 1.15. I'm hoping that I'm done drying the clothes before Rainy gets off work. But if not, I can go grab him while they're in the dryer and we can come back. His work is right around the corner, so. But yeah, that is what I'm up to today. Um, I actually stayed up a little late last night and um, I only got four hours of sleep before I had to take Rainy to work. So I came home and got another three hours of sleep and I got up, got dressed, and now I'm at the laundromat. So that's pretty much been my day. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of letting God take over and just, I'm going to go, go at the pace that I know that I can handle. And I've kind of just been leaning on the Lord for direction and I feel strongly that I am meant to get my space organized so I'm not so overwhelmed and get some um, routines in order and get some things organized to where I don't have to worry about things so much. I'm more of a plan, at least have some kind of plan, and I'm a visual person, so I like having things in front of me. Um, one of the projects I'm doing for my prayer time right now is the prayer journal. If you saw my video where I showed y'all the binders that I got from Michael's that were on sale, I got a really beautiful binder that I'm going to use as my prayer binder and I've not had a specifically a prayer binder before I've had kind of like a war binder where I can bind like devotional notes and scripture and all of that but this is going to be strictly my prayer binder and I'm going to do sections and once I have that set up I'm going to show y'all what I've done but right now I'm kind of just in the planning stages kind of getting what sections I want and writing those out and I probably will show y'all some of the process of putting stuff together because I'm kind of doing one section at a time so I don't get overwhelmed Right now I'm on the initial section and I'm kind of doing like a me section and that might sound a little selfish but the reason I want to do that one is because I put confession and reflection in the me section and I feel like if I start out with you know quieting and listening to God and um, doing some daily scripture affirmation and then doing confession and forgiving myself, then I can go into prayer for others. So that is my thought process with that, but I'm working on the me section. And so yeah, if you have any advice for me, please let me know in the comments, but I figured I would get on here and talk to y'all. I've been having a really hard time 
with like time management, but I think that's okay in this season. I think I kind of want to jump into like the next season that I'm supposed to be in, but God's saying, no, you're in the planning stage and it's okay to be where you're at. So I'm kind of just getting things organized so that I can have a routine, if that makes sense. So I just wanted to share that with y'all, but I have been struggling a little bit, but I've been leaning on the Lord and really, you know, hashing it out with him. And I feel strongly that this is what I need to be doing. The podcast and the blog is still happening, by the way. And I know, I know I keep saying that, but it's on God's time. I'm kind of letting him choose, you know, whenever he lets me know this is the time that is going to be the time. So when I know, I will let y'all know. Anyways, I'm going to get my laundry changed over in a few minutes here, and hopefully I will see y'all soon for a Dollar Tree haul. By the way, the Dollar Tree haul you're about to see is one of the last hauls for at least four weeks, five weeks, because I'm doing a no-spend month in February. I like to be one month ahead in bills, and we have been a little bit ahead, but not a full month ahead since we've moved here. So, trying to get the budget back in order. I have been buying things that we need. I bought a few things that I wanted, like the prayer binder and my cart, but really, I considered that a need because I wanted to put all my Bible stuff, my Bible study, and, uh, time with God stuff on one cart and and have my art studio kind of a little bit separate so I kind of saw that as a need but in February it's going to be a no spend month so the most y'all are going to probably see are hauls from the grocery store maybe I'll get an imperfect box or a thrive box next month I haven't decided yet I've got to look at the budget But yeah, that is what's going on in February. I'm actually about to do our budget now, like sit down and do the budget because I know about how much he is going to make every week, at least like the bare minimum. And I budget for that. Anything over that is going to go into our savings. So that's how I'm going to budget for February. But I figured I'd let y'all know it's going to be a lot of organization videos, a lot of planning videos. Um, maybe some art videos and Bible journaling. So um, I'm still going to be doing vlogs, but not a lot of hauls. It just so happened that in this season, I've been buying things because we needed to replace a lot of things and we just moved. So I need stuff to organize, etc. So just a heads up. um, I'm just going to take this channel through the seasons that I'm in and see where it goes. So hopefully y'all join me and stick around. Okay, I can finally show you what I got at Dollar Tree. This is actually stuff from, I believe Friday afternoon, me and Rainy went to the Dollar Tree. He got off work early and so we were able to go there before, wait like way before Shabbat started on Friday evening but I haven't had a chance to really even unpack all the stuff yet. And I kind of also wanted to show y'all what I got. And we kind of got quite a few things. Rainy picked out a couple things for himself too, and I guess I'll just show y'all those too, since it's in my pile still. So I'm just gonna start. I actually found these, and my cats love cat the catnip mice, and the Dollar Tree had some for a dollar. I usually buy these at Wegmans and they're like $3.59 or something like that. So I was really surprised to find these. I actually got two packs, but I already took one out and gave uh, gave it to the cats. So I got the mice for my kitties. And then I got one of these. They've had their uh, spring garden stuff out already, so I already have one of these in my garden stuff, but I really like these little tins, and I'm thinking I might grow some herbs in this pot, or maybe some succulents, so 
I got that. And I got two pots to repot two of my succulent plants. So I got these. I'm going to get soil this week. And I'm going to be repotting some of my stuff. I also got two of these. Which are the long tins. And one says... Oh, they both say flowers and garden. So, flowers and garden. And then Rainy got himself some Crafter Square yarn for the new loom that I got him for his birthday. I got him a weaving loom for his birthday because he really wants to um, try that out as a hobby and so he got himself some yarn to practice with the next thing that I got were some whoop, some ribbons I got four of these I like using these in my junk journals so I got one that has like the chevron pattern on it it's blue with gold And then I got <laughs> cactuses. I got like a rainbow one. It looks more like pink, pink, blue, and white, but it's like a multicolor. I really like that. And then I got one with rainbows on it. And then. These are some things that Rainy picked out. He got himself a book. <laughs> he got himself a book from um, Dollar Tree. And it, I guess it's about... It's kind of like if Jumanji met... I don't know. It sounds kind of like if Jumanji met Stranger Things. That's what it, it sounds like, this book. But that's what he got for himself to read. And then we were actually really surprised, but we found these at Dollar Tree. And usually these dice are like $10 for a whole pack. So we found some tabletop gaming dice. And we use these a lot when we're gaming together. So we each picked out one. We got the blue and I got some purple ones. So we got those. So if you're a gamer go try <laughs> finding those at the uh, Dollar Tree. And then I also got some of the Aroma Guru. I have some of this already and I love it, the Muscle Ease. This is lavender oil and I got this for my diffuser. So I got this and then I also wanted to try this. This is Natural Bright Skin Serum with Rosehip Oil. So I'm going to put that in my, in with my skincare stuff and I'm going to try it out. And it has, I read the ingredients on the back and it's all natural ingredients. But this is what is in there. It's not wanting to show you what's in there. anyways and then I got some baskets and they actually had these type of baskets and I think I'm probably gonna end up using most of these in my uh, craft room slash art studio but I got two of each color they're all the same basket it's just three different colors so I got six of them so All right, we're almost done, but I have a lot of stuff in this little caddy that's in front of me. So, something cool, really neat that I found and I was excited about were these pens. I found squishy pens. So, they have the little, like, squishies on them. And I love squishies. I have a whole bunch of them. I like just using them for when I'm like journaling or when I'm like anxious and stuff. I like to 
um, it's kind of use it like it's, it's a stress ball because that's kind of it's similar to a stress ball so I really like that I found pens and they were at Dollar Tree so they were only a dollar so I got the donut the cat and the panda so I really thought those were cute they had another one I don't remember what it was an ice cream maybe I don't know they had one other one I also found these which is kind of cool they had many like happy planner ripoff <laughs> knockoff um, mini notes so I got two of them I got the one with the cactuses and the llamas of course because you know how I am I love cactus and the llamas or alpacas and then I got this one and I think this says it's the little things and it's just like a watercolor pattern and the paper on the insides colored this one is orange let me see if I can open it hold on yeah so this is like an orangey color and then the other one okay there we go so this one has the green on the inside so I thought these were cute and I like that they're small like you can stick them in your bag um, so yeah I got a couple of those keep an eye out for these there were a few other um, colors and patterns for these so keep an eye out and also I'm pretty sure you could use these discs on the happy planner notes um, because they're just about the same um, they are kind of like the small ones but I mean discs are usually usually really expensive so I think these are just these are worth just getting the discs then what else did I get I got oh yeah I got some letter stickers because I love using these in Bible journaling and there's two sheets this is the gold ones and they had a lot of letter sheets but I only wanted to pick out a couple this time next time I go to Dollar Tree which probably won't be until March or April I'm probably gonna get a couple more letter sheets because I use them often and I got these for using on my dry erase board the fridge and I might put a couple on my cart my rolling cart since it's magnetic and I actually got two packs of these these are magnetic tins and I got two packs but I opened one already um, and I put one of these on my dry erase board for thumbtacks and then another on my rolling cart speaking of thumbtacks I got some clear ones to use because I like the clear ones and I'm gonna put these in one of these to put on my dry erase board we are almost done I got some scissors they're kind of colorful like I like the colors we'll see how good they are but I heard that Dollar Tree usually has really good scissors for the price so I just picked a pair up and these were like the most colorful ones and I like the colors so I got those and I got these stickers which I thought are really cute it has llamas on it, it says hello llama um, life is better feeling all the feelings uh, boho yeah so I thought these were cute there's a little cactus on there so and they're the same on both sheets I thought this would be really cute to use in happy mail letters or when I'm mailing letters on the back of the envelope so that's what I thought about when I saw these and I saw these and I thought they were really cool they are dry erase magnetic clips so you can write on them and then erase it so I thought that was pretty cool yeah so I thought these were cool and I'm gonna use one on my cart and one on my board 
or I might put one on the fridge. I haven't decided, but I thought these were really neat. I've never seen these, so yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. And I was running out of these, so I just picked up some clothespins. I use these for a lot of things. I use them to like close up bags of food to keep them fresh. I use them to hang stuff on the wall. And I use them to dry my herbs in the um, fall when I'm like picking them from the garden. Although I don't have a garden this year, but I am planning on picking some of the herbs from our fellowship garden and drying them this year. So yeah, I use these for a lot of things. So I just picked up an extra pack. And for a dollar, you can't go wrong for a dollar with those. And then I saw this and I wanted to see how well it works. It's a metallic marker. So I wanted to see what this writes like and maybe I'll try it out. Maybe I'll try the pens out before I end the video and let y'all know how it writes. The last couple things that I got, I got a book by one of my favorite authors that I've never read, Lisa Wingate, and this is The Language of Sycamores. And it kind of looks like a sad book, but I know that she's a good writer. I like a lot of her books. I think she wrote The Prayer Box. I think that's what the name of the book is, but that's one of my favorite books that I've read in the past couple years, like fiction books. So she is, a, I'm pretty sure she's a Christian author and she is a really good writer. So I definitely recommend picking up some of her books, but for a dollar, I was like, I will add that to my bookshelf and I will let you know what I think of it after I read it. And then I got a white caddy because this is the only color that they had, but white matches everything. So I have another couple of these. One is blue, like the color blue I like, like the mint green, mint blue color. And then the other one's like a light lavender purple, so, or a lilac, whichever color you want to call it. But this will match and I don't know if I'm going to use this on my rolling cart yet or just use it in the craft room but I like having these around to organize like items. So I think, <sighs> I think I'm tired. <laughs> I think that is all that I have to show you. I'm going to put the camera desk view and I'm going to just try those pens out real quick on some paper and see what they look like. Okay, so this is the metallic marker from the crafter's square and I'm just going to try it out on this paper. Oh, I like that. Check that out. That is really pretty. My handwriting is not the best. So yeah, I really like that. That is a keeper. I might actually get some more of these. That's not bad for a dollar. And I bet this looks really good on colored paper too. I'm gonna have to try it out. All right, this is the Panda Squishy pen. Let's see. So it looks like it's blue. I wonder if they're all blue. This is the donut pen. <laughs> they're blue. 
but they write pretty good. I like them. This is the cat. <laughs> so yeah, I like these pens. I highly recommend you picking some up because they're adorable, they're squishies, and they write pretty well. So. And I guess I'll be using this page in my brain dump journal as my pen testing page. Usually I have one, so I guess I just started it. <laughs> So yeah, that was what I got, and tomorrow I am not going anywhere except taking Rainy to work, and I want to get some of my prayer binders set up, and I want to get some of the studio organized, and so hopefully I'll be taking you along with me tomorrow as well. I know this is kind of um, an all over the place vlog, but that is life and that is what I'm doing. I am video logging my actual life. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, yesterday and today's vlog and the haul I had for you. And yeah, I'm hoping to do a few more videos and putting them out over the next couple days, but we will see how that goes. Either case, I will see you soon. Shalom and blessings to y'all. I love y'all and I will see you very soon. Bye.